Hey gang, Michael Daniels here with Tinkering with Tech. Today we're going to live stream with a free and a paid for version of StreamYard. Check this out. Here we show the two people getting ready to go live. All right, so we're gonna click go live. Yes, I'm gonna go live now. And it says I am live, you can see on screen. And then I have that. If I wanted to do an intro or anything like that, I don't have any of that. So there's no upload overlay or logo option only the duck even when you try to click the duck you only get that and you can't take it off so you would have to go to the paid version to remove that watermark let's go talk about comments so let's go out to youtube get the youtube of this show and this is how I test my comments coming in. You can see here, I'm gonna type in. While we're waiting for the comments to come through, let's look at banners real quick. This is a sample banner I can throw up here. And this is what you can show on screen. And then you can see that and you can see up here in the corner, you can see where the comment came in. You can see the little circle that tells me that there are a number of comments. So let's go to the comment box and see what the comment is that's over there. We click on the comment right in the dead center and it tells you the comment comes right up on screen. You can see the banner in the background that I left up from before so you can see that as well. So it shows whenever you take off the comment. To take the banner off, you have to go back to the banner, unclick it, turn it off, and then you can also do scrolling text. Down at the bottom, you see the scrolling text and a banner. So you can have both, scrolling text and a banner. Let's take a look now at some of the different views we have that we can put up on screen. You can do, uh, like you see the two people on screen now. You can click one, so it's just me, the host. If I click up there, it's just me, the host. If you wanna put your guest on screen, you click over here. This is where you would wanna do that, and that puts just your guest on there. If you want just you again, there's you, and back to your guest. Then click, this is tool screen, side by side with no background. Here we have side by side with full backgrounds, the same as your thumbnail and a much clearer view in my opinion. Next is large host and small ones of all your guests that you have in there. You cannot change it at this time to your guest to be on screen. The last three boxes are for screen share, so let's get into that next. When we click on screen share, you're gonna get a splash screen. It gives you a little warning. Then you have a screen. This is where you share. And you can do all, you can do entire screen. We're gonna look at entire screen right here. You can share the audio along with your entire screen. I have four monitors, so that's why I see so many screens. Next, you have application window, so the specific application, but no sound with that. Chrome tab allows you to have sound because you can throw stuff in your Chrome tabs. In our example today, we're going to choose Voice Meter. It's an app that I have running and open it, bring it in as a screen share. So now we have some choices. If you look at this one right here, when we do a screen share, it takes you to this one, and then all of a sudden you're in the big screen for the host and a little side image of the screen share. If you choose your guest and come off of that, your guest can't be in there, not right now. The next one is, is 
puts everybody off to the left hand side and kind of a bigger screen of your screen share. And then full page, full screen share is the last choice that you have on this one. So let's have a look at some things on screen with it. So a ticker does fine, it stays down below. Whenever you add a banner, that banner covers up whatever you're showing. Same with a comment. When you put a comment on screen, it actually covers up some of your screen shares. You can look at different things. Works fine when you have two people and, and that. It's about the only one that it works just fine where it pushes up. Everything else though, does not fit on screen well. So here's with the two people on screen, you bring on a banner, it looks perfectly fine. As soon as you screen share, covers you up a little bit. There you go, so you can see, obviously, take your banner off. One thing that is really nice is to be able to quickly add a banner. You can type something in real quick. Let's say somebody that gave you their YouTube link and you wanted to put it on screen. You can add that banner and then click it real quick and bring it right on the top there. So that's kind of nice to be able to do that. One of the reasons that I do not like to use this particular view is because the comments cover up the me and the guest. So I don't use this one a lot of times. It's kind of neat to see the tick green. That's fine. And it pushes everything up above it, but it kind of covers the guests where the other one, this doesn't happen. So this is why I don't really use this side by side as often. So now it's time to end our broadcast. We just click the orange button, red button in the top corner. And once we do that, we can end the broadcast. Click again, just to verify that you wanted to end it and it stops. So let's click to enter our event. We go inside, get the normal screen that shows our mic, video. We're gonna go ahead and join. So we join in. So let's check out the brands. A little bit different in the paid for version, has a lot more choices. You can see right here, you can choose, and I have downloaded quite a few, and have different ones that you put in here. These are just overlays that you're gonna put on screen to cover up the screen, basically. You can have transparency like this with the lower third. Next, let's look at backgrounds. These are backgrounds that you can use to have on screen. I've chosen the lightning bolt background. No lightning bolt with a single person. If you do side by side, this side by side, you don't see it. But this side by side, you do see it. That's the one you want to use to see your backgrounds. Another reason why I like this one better. So now I'm ready to go live. First thing I do is I go into brand and I put a blank circuit board over top of myself. Now I'm gonna go down and choose my intro video or get ready to make sure it's ready to go. And then I'm gonna hit the go live button Go live, go live, and I wait about four seconds and I start the video. I have to remember to turn the overlay off here. So let's go as if we're doing the show. I'm going to add a banner. Just click on the middle plus sign in the middle of the banner itself. And you can see when it's highlighted, that's the one that's being put on screen. I can add in ticker. You can see here I'm adding and changing the banners and little ticker tape going by. I can change those if they're set that way. Also, one nice thing that you can do is let's say your guest is on and he's talking and he wants to tell you about something that he's doing. You can immediately type one in really quickly. I can create mine on the fly, add that 
and then be able to present that. See here. And then that way I have it real quick and I can pull that up on screen. So let me show you a sample of a stinger that I do. And a stinger is just a transition between two things. Like I'm going from one person to two people right now. So to do that, what I have to do is I have to click the video that I want to play, the little intro or video, then quickly switch over to, you can see me switching over to that other person by themselves from the two person. Here you see me doing branding by adding my logo, but I like to do an overlay because I like to put the logo where I want it so I can have to choose an overlay versus logo, logo set position. If I have a comment on screen, I have to turn the comment off, then go to brand, then come over, add an overlay, throw an overlay on there, switch the person to two people. All of this has to be done by clicking the different screens and going into different areas. Then I can add a comment, as you can see here. So let's look at the production. We see that we're on the banners area. We can add and take away banners as we go. We have to switch over. You can see if we want to go to comments, we have to switch over there. You can see the comment push and the two person. It's great because everything's down below. You can go to one person. If you go to one person in the middle of it or one large, one small, you can see the banner or the comment covers it up. The ticker's always below. But the issue becomes is the banner. So let's hit the screen share button. And you can see right here you have some choices on what you can choose. Here I can choose any open Chrome tab that I have open. I think I'm going to go and choose the tinkering website so you can see what that's like showing a specific tab. By default, it chooses this one, takes you right to it, but you can always change that. You can go to the one next to it and get a full screen. Keep in mind your overlay in the top is blocking too, so keep that in mind. You can always take it off screen. You can see here, took it off screen, and then I can bring it back, and it brings it back to whatever you had last time. So there are lots of ways to screen share, different things you can do during the screen share. You can see the different kinds of screen shares you can do as you're going. Let's get rid of the logo up in the top left corner. I have to remember I was in brand. When I go to brand, the first thing I think of is the logo, but it's not. Logos are set up in the top right. So I have to go over and find the image. I look for something that's highlighted blue and it's difficult when you're hovering over top of these to really recognize what it is, but make sure you get it, boom, turn it off. So that can be time consuming at times too. Let's have a look at screen sharing with comments. If you're screen sharing, you can see right here, no matter which one you choose, it blocks and covers your screen share. So keep that in mind when someone's screen sharing is gonna block some of the stuff. Keep in mind when screen sharing, you can't have two screen shares up. You can only do them one at a time. So you have to drop one, then reopen a screen share, open something else, and then bring it on. Down at the bottom, you can see that you have screen share turned on. You can hide this little thing so it's not covering something up that you need. But keep in mind, it's still on over here. So don't forget about it because it's still sitting here on the screen so you can see it. Let's have a quick look at bouncing around all over the place and hitting all the different things like branding, commenting here. We're going to add our brand and this is all during the show. And then we're going to go over here and switch to screen share. And then when we go to that screen share, it's going to be covered by your brand. And then you're going to add a comment and then that's covering your screen share. So to take this off, you got to go back over and then click again to take it off and then come back over. You got that, you got all kinds of things going on in the background. So to end the video, I mute both of us. Then I go and I select the video. Then I immediately go and select the overlay. So that way when we're done, we don't show up and we're not heard. And I can end the broadcast and everything will be fine when I click the button. 
we won't be heard and only the blue image below will be showing after the video is done it won't show us that's my process the way i handle all of that to end the broadcast boom i click it right near the end when the video is over and that's how i get out of there this is what you see now i do some cleaning up i just remove people from the scenes take them out get rid of the screen share do a little bit of cleanup toward the end once we're done we're ready to leave studio so i click the button down at the bottom and it brings me back and i go look in past broadcasts so i can see my recording you can see the show right here i look and i click on more and now you can actually have a recording a download a recording of what you just did so you could actually get a download straight from there of just the recording Whew, man i hope you enjoyed watching the free and the paid version of how to run a show in StreamYard. I know that takes a while, but hey, listen, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, check out a couple other videos over here, and thank you very much.